Howdy howdy, welcome back. This one is going to be rather short, but um, it's I think a pretty useful topic and uh, something that pays to know. I'm gonna talk about um, a, a very simple setup for um, uh, trapping gases so that the gases cannot will not actually transfer from uh, one place to the other place and um, There are obviously a lot of ways to you know to trap gases uh, There are really a lot of uh, different setups that you can uh, you can go for but the thing is um, Generally speaking in this game. I like personally at least to go for the simplest setups I mean the, the, set, the setup that will give me the maximum result with the least amount of effort and so I think that um, the setup for this um, occasion is actually this one here. I have one here and one here. And I want to explain uh, what's going on here. So as you can see, and uh, this is, I created this kind of setup here while I was, when I wanted to transfer some of the chlorine in here to this room in order to create my storage. So, and, and um, you know, have it um, clean and um, actually use the chlorine gas uh, you know, for killing any germs that are inside the area. So, what I did initially, this was a whole block that was completely, you know, un, uh, undug uh, when I when I started this. So the first thing I did is I created this thing here, and uh, I used a little bit of um, uh, water in here uh, to make sure that uh, the gases that are in this area uh, never go through this uh, area, and uh, and vice versa. So pretty much uh, gases cannot be exchanged. And the reason for that is that water um, does pretty much uh, acts as a, as a wall, as a barrier, I should say, for the gases. But it's not a barrier for um, for your dupe, for your dupes. And especially if they have your, their their uh, suits, their exosuits, as uh, as it happens in my case, they will just enter here no no without any issues. And so you see here that uh, you can see some oxygen and some polluted oxygen and oxygen here. And over here there's carbon dioxide. But the thing is, it doesn't actually pass through. No carbon here really, uh, and no polluted oxygen here or oxygen. So it effectively act, act acts as a, um, as a gas trap pretty much it doesn't allow the exchange of gases and uh, you can just quickly remember the you know how, how you're supposed to set up to set this up just by thinking that in the very middle there are two blocks uh, start by this and then it's uh, I don't know if you have ever played Tetris you probably have but uh, one of the blocks in Tetris has this this kind of uh, for, uh, schema scheme uh, like it's um, it's drawn like this if you can remember if you can bring them in your memory um, you will you will see that uh, you will actually remember that there is a, a block in Tetris that uh, resembles uh, this pattern here so that's that's an easy way to remember otherwise you can sort of like make a stair like one two three one two it's like starting from this and going two steps down and uh, two steps up uh, that's a simple way to remember it, to remember it and uh, there's pretty much always like a block distance between uh, between everything apart from the middle, which is two blocks. That's that's pretty much it. And um, you can have water inside, polluted or plain water, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but there's also another mechanism in case you don't have the exosuits and you actually don't want your tubes to get wet. You can also do it without any water, as you see here, which I will. I, I was about to uh, to use water. However, this already acts as a, as a barrier for gases because there is carbon dioxide here. So whenever there is carbon dioxide, just because it's very, very uh, heavy, um, it's a very heavy gas, so it actually goes on the very bottom of your base, uh, nothing can enter apart from carbon dioxide. So this effectively will act as a, as a barrier for as long as carbon dioxide is here. Uh, obviously, you know, if there's oxygen and, and uh, the natural gas, there will be potentially some inter interchange, inter you know, if things are flowing differently at some point. But once there is um, carbon dioxide, uh, it will probably stay there for a while if, it, if, it not, if it's not get cleaned. So that's another mechanism. However, I wouldn't really, really recommend it because it's prone to, uh, to mistakes. I mean, just having some water here makes it 100% uh, certain that you're not gonna uh, have uh, gases uh, passed from this side to this side. Um, but yeah, it, it's good to at least know about it. And so my idea here is to create an, entr an entrance eventually, uh, so that uh, when my tubes get in, in this room and uh, put some of the materials inside, uh, any any chlorine that comes out outside uh, comes out will actually stay in this area and never transfer here. 
that's that was the you know the idea behind it and i could have made it here as well but uh, i kind of wanted to make it closer to the base so yeah that's it i i, I really don't want to go in, in for more advanced uh, you know types of mechanisms for uh, uh, you know removing not for trapping gases because they they do require like um, uh, battery power and all that and i i'm not a big fan of that anything that, that requires battery and a lot of power is actually even even a little bit of power can be a little bit of a problem because you have to have wires and all that so it's um i i wouldn't really like it so much especially where you are in, a, in the late game and you have so so many cables all around um if you could avoid it uh, it's probably a good idea to do so so that's it keeping it simple keeping it uh, clear and easy hopefully and i uh, hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next tutorial guys bye